Yeah, good day everyone. In this particular video, we'll be dealing with arcane isomers, isomerism and arcane. And like what I said earlier, arcane is a, a, a organic compound that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. The truth is that we have different kind of, uh, of isomerism. We have geometric, we have optical, we have uh, 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 stereo isomerism. It, it differs. But in this particular video, we'll just be talking about the structural isomerism of arcane. Structural isomerism of arcane. So, a question might come, methane has how many possible isomers? The answer is, methane has no isomer, ethane has no isomer, propane is zero, butane is two, pent is three, hex is five, hept is nine, oct is 18, and none is 35, Why dec is what? 75. Like what I said earlier, they won't give you that of, they will might even end in hexane. You might not even see heptane in it. Because as you are going down, the molecular formula, sorry, the, the isomers become many. So the higher the carbon atom, the higher the possible isomer. So let's try the very one of butane first. So butane has the molecular formula of C4, H what? H10. So if you want to draw the structure, butane structure is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and here is what? It's 10. So, is there any other way we can draw this structure? Yes. So, if there is another way, what you do is that let's eliminate the last carbon atom. I repeat, let's eliminate the what? The last carbon atom. So, we are going to have one, two, three. Then, the last carbon atom, you put it here. Because if you put the last carbon atom here, it's still a longest chain. It's still a continuous chain because it can go like this. So, the question is, I can go like this. I can also move like this. So, the longest chain will be three. What I mean by that is that if you have an arrow like this, if you move, 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 I was able to move through without removing my hand. So if I have another arrow coming down, if I get to this place, the question is, should I go up or I should come down? If I should come down, the journey is not far. But if I should go up, the journey is still very much what far. So I would prefer to do what? To go up instead of coming down. So this one that is here will become a what? A branching. Why this one here will become a what? The longest carbon what? Shape. So that's exactly what we are doing now. This is the longest carbon chain, and this is what the branching. How many hydrogen? Ten hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here will be what ten. Now, if you want to name this structure, four carbon atom is what? Four carbon atom is butane. So we call this normal butane, normal butane, N butane. Why this one here? What is the position of this guy? The portion of this methyl group is in carbon 2. Here is carbon 1, here is carbon 2, here is carbon 3. So we call it 2 methyl. How many carbon atoms do you have in a straight chain? 4. So here will be what? Propane. 2 methyl, what? Propane. Or you can also call it isobutane. Telling that this is an isomer of what? Obutane. But there is something that you should take note of. As long as you have propane, propane is 3. Here is two. For example, they will give you like uh, options. Options. I mean, which of the following is not an isomer of, or which of the following is an isomer of butane? Option A, N butane is correct. Option B, uh, two methyl propane. The first thing is that uh, propane is three. Methyl, sorry, methyl, not dimethyl, not trimethyl is one. So three plus one will give us what? Four. So that's how you easily detect if it's an isomer or what or not. Let me give you another one again. Um, butane, sorry, pentane. Pentane is C4, pentane rather, C5, H12. So it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All of them, they are what? They are hydrogen. They are hydrogen. Or I can try to move one of the carbon atoms. One, two, three, four. I've decreased the carbon atom. I'll put a carbon atom here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, what? Twelve. Or I can try to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's count the hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, what? Twelve. If you realize, they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So in this case, what you do is, here is uh, five carbon atom, N-pentane. What about this one? Guess the name. 
You can't count from this side. You are going to count from the side that is closer to this functional group. This is a functional group. So you count from the side that is closer to this functional group, which is one, two. So one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four atom, four carbon atom. So it will be what? Two methyl, one, two, three, four. Four is what? Butane. What about this one? One, two, three. So we have position two for this methyl. We have position two again for this methyl. So two, two, dimethyl, what? Dimethyl propane. The reason why it is propane because we have three carbon atoms here. So I don't want to really go deep, 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 deep. If I go deeper, you are going to understand much more better. But one of the reasons I'm not going deeper is because it's actually an objective question. So remember, the essence for this whole thing is to simplify chemistry. If I should teach you deeper, 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 you might understand the whole work, but it might take you a longer time for you to predict if this is the answer or not. So let me show you the trick. Here is propane. Propane is what? Three carbon atom. Dimethyl, not di. Methyl is one carbon atom. Dimethyl plus one plus what? One. Di means one, two methyl, which is everything here will be what? Five. If you calculate here, boot is four. Methyl, please don't look at this two. Methyl is what? One. So, where, which is going to give us what? Five. But it is also what? Five. So, these are the possible isomer of what? Of the compound. So, it doesn't really mean you should learn how to draw it. But it is important you learn how to what? To draw it. But if a question will come from the drawing in your exam, like this, this one will be CH3 bonded to CH2. How many CH2 is present? One, two, three. These are the, this is the first CH2. This is the second CH2. This is the third CH2. So, will not be what? CH3. But if you look at this one now, if you look at this one, I mean CH2, 3, please. You put the 3 here. If you look at this structure now, it will be CH3, CH2, then we have CH, open a bracket, what? CH3, the, this bracket. Now, one of the reasons why this is actually in a bracket or a parenthesis is because it's attached to this carbon atom. Then we now put the last CH3 here. I don't know if you understand what I just did. CH3, CH2, CH, the bottom part, CH3, CH3. Now, if I want to draw the same for this one, it will be CH3, C. There's no hydrogen at the top. We have CH3 at the top. We have CH3 at the bottom. We now put two here. Here will now be what? It's CH3. So that's how you do it. So for this one now, it will be CH3 bonded to what? CH, open a bracket, the bottom part is CH3. So, this will indicate that this one here is a branching. Anyone that is in a parenthesis in a bracket, apart from CH2, is a what? Is a branching. So, if you have something like maybe chlorine at the end of your thing, know that chlorine is in a what? A branch chain. So, please, take note of this. And like what I said earlier, methane has zero isomer, ethane zero, propane zero. As the number of isomer, as the number of carbon atom increases, the number of isomer as well does what? increases so this is a general overview of what isomerism is all about if you have any problem regarding this uh i will refer your secondary school textbook for you so that you can go through it and know more about isomerism but i've given you the trick on how to get possible isomers of what of a king so if you have any question regarding uh anything here please feel free to drop that in the comment section but i have a question for you if you have something like Two, three, di, methyl, uh, two, three, di, methyl. Let me use butane. Two, three, di, methyl, butane. This guy here is an isomer of what? Two, three, di, methyl, butane is an isomer of what? Let me do this correction for you first. Let me use this as an example. Butane here is four. Di, methyl, methyl is one. Di, two, methyl, plus one, plus what? Plus one, which is what's the word? Cis. What if I have two, three, three, tri, metai, metai, sorry, two, two, three, yeah, tri, metai, butane. So please, if you know the answer, is an isomer of what? This one is an isomer of what? Let me give you option as well. Option A, we have pentane. Option B, we have hexane. Option C, 
we have heptin and option D we have we have butane so please if you know the answer feel free to drop that in comment section and I would love you to share this video to as many students as you can share to your departmental group chat it will encourage me to create more thanks for watching see you in our next episode